hello and today we've got an Indiegogo special. This is the Sensate security camera. Really nice aluminium body, it looks really cool. And this is a multi-sensory device. So you've got a 1080p camera on the front. You've got temperature and humidity sensor around the back. There's also a motion sensor, audio recorder, and a 95 decibel alarm on the top. This has local storage on this, so there's no SD card slot. Neither is there a cloud service subscription plan. You plug the USB power cable into the bottom and it comes with the cable and a small getting started guide. I was really impressed to find a little thank you note that was handwritten top and bottom, all the best and dear me, which is very nice. Getting set up was very easy. There's a really nice app which talks you through it, explains what you need to push and when. And you've got this really unusual method of updating the Sensate via pulsing from your mobile phone speaker. Done and set up, your light will turn solid blue and you can then name your device. So if you've got multiple ones of these, you could call it kitchen or living room and you're ready to go. The app is very intuitive, very easy to use. You've got lots of information stored in here because of those sensors. So you've got temperature, humidity and light and you can set alarms based on that. So if there's a sudden change in the temperature, there's also a health index on board, which gives you a readout based on all the sensors on the Sensate. You've got different options for how this arms and disarms. If I just arm this now, what you'll see happen is because I'm stood opposite it, it will pick me up and you'll see two notifications. Now I've reported this, hopefully this will get fixed. It keeps showing me two notifications, should just be one. But then you can go in, take a look at the events. It creates a secure channel to the device. And there we go, there's me recording the Sensate. If I just turn this around, and there I am, and there's me turning it around. And if you don't like what you see, you can trigger the alarm via the app. So as well as arming it on your phone, you can also set up a schedule. So that will be it arms itself automatically at certain times and disarms at certain times. Or you can use the automation feature and that will use your mobile's GPS signal and track where you are and will auto arm and disarm accordingly. That does mean that everyone in your household will need the app on their phone. Otherwise, when they return, it won't know that they're part of your household and it will start sending you alerts because that might be a good thing, I suppose, if you want to track your family. The big advantage of Sense8 is that there is no monthly subscription. That has a disadvantage that there's no cloud backup either. So if the device is taken, all the footage is on the device. Now, they're looking to overcome that with a link to Dropbox and you can get some Dropbox storage for free. So that's a great option. However, at the time of review in December 2017, the link to Dropbox wasn't working. At least it wasn't working for me. I've clicked on it, I've authorized it. I've got the folder set up on my Dropbox account, but whenever an event and footage is recorded, it's not being put into my Dropbox folder. Hopefully this is something they can sort out with an update. It's really great that the live footage is such good quality and I've used this out and about and it adapts the quality depending on your connection. So if you're on Wi-Fi, it will show it full quality. If you're out and about on your mobile network, it will drop the quality so it doesn't use as much data, but you can still see what's going on. The one major problem I've got is actually getting the footage off the device. I can't see a way of doing it at the moment. I've tried plugging it in to my laptop using the USB cable and it's not recognized, it doesn't show up at all. And there doesn't seem to be anything in the app either to allow you to download footage, to send it on, share it out, whatever you need to do. And that's a bit of a drawback. I've tried a number of these cameras and most of them have some sort of feature that allows you to download the video footage, archive it, send it to friends, family, police, whatever you need to do. Overall then, I think the hardware side of this is really good. I think it looks great. It looks quite unusual. It doesn't necessarily look and scream out that it's a security camera, but it's quite subtle as well if you just pop it in the corner. The one area that needs a bit more work though is the software, and that's a good thing because at least the software can be remotely updated. The hardware is fine. The device can only get better from here on out. I hope you found this short review useful. If you have, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you want to know more about the product, I'll put links to it in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.